Hello again. Um, I had an interesting question uh, from one of my recent videos that uh, this Fizzitin and resveratrol dosage time of day thing has changed. Yes, of course. And as you've seen in the previous video, um, there's evidence that the best time to take resveratrol is in the morning. Um, I'm trying to do a little different there. Okay, I want to take a thousand milligrams a day or more, 1500 actually, in three doses spaced six hours apart during the day starting in the morning because of this. If you look at this chart, look at it this way, the plasma levels go up for an average pretty high level most of the time, which are great, and the conjugate levels go up for a longer time over two days or more. And if you look at this chart, and this is the one that's important, is that if you look at any deep production over three days after administration of resveratrol, you get NAD going up for 72 hours. That means it's there's a residual amount that's staying in the cell that will probably be replaced at one point, but it's still working. It's still attracting all these things. And if you look at this new uh, image of a, res, of a SIRT1 molecule with resveratrol, three of them, so that they can attach at different points to have different molecular activities at their tip, you have this molecular chain reaction going on to make NAD for the cells to make everything work. So yeah, um, a physitin, I still believe physitin is best taken at night with a healthy fat, olive oil or some kind of oil, uh, butter, anything to get it down. Butter has retinol, which is great for you. Um, and get that down at night. So the uh, physitin in the body that then the body can use during autophagy to start using the auto autophagic pathways to start getting rid of cells that are too weak to survive and are uh, basically a burden on the body. You know, dry fasting is great. You're able to dry fast, you know, a, a week out of the year and regenerate your tissue like crazy, billions and billions of cells. The problem is during the year, you're going to keep damaging cells and you want to decrease the damage. And the way to do it is with Fizzitin and with uh, resveratrol. So, yeah, starting with resveratrol or you can do single dose 500 milligrams, that's fine. You're going to get all these benefits in this chart. If you do my <laughs> crazy idea and do three of them, you end up with a higher level of residual plasma resveratrol available to the cells to the vascular system, as well as a larger amount of conjugates that stay in the uh, GI tract to go down the cells to the metallic pathways and release resveratrol in endothelial cells in the gut further on down the line. So you get this kind of delayed reaction behavior of resveratrol. So yeah, I do it in the morning. And if I just did it once a day, I do it in the morning. Um, and Fizzitin at night because Fizzitin helps to get rid of senescent cells. You gotta get rid of these interleukin six and eight. All sorts of other things that happen during uh, a body out of control with too many cytokines, chemokines from these senescent cells being emitted. So, Fizzitin helps get rid of them. Resveratrol helps your body repair it because millions upon millions of pieces of genetic damage are happening to your cells every day and it's fixed every day. As long as there's enough energy to activate the sirtuins to fix everything and the PARP and help in the ATP process. I mean, ATP, a process requires NAD as well. NAD is one of these magical molecules you have to have in the body all the time. So, so remember, we still have the resveratrol two-for-one sale on uh, eBay. Check the link below. And, uh, and think of it that way. You know, you're really hitting it day and night. You can't do a seven-day dry fast all year long. And, was, and the wonderful benefits that it provides with stem cells is why you want to hold it for that. During the year, you can do a lot less damage and repair a lot more damage with the resveratrol and the physitin trick. That's all I'm trying. And you know what? You don't have to do what I do. This is what I'm experimenting on with the Phoenix Protocol and the follow-on supplements because that's what the Phoenix Protocol is. It's dry fasting with these follow-on supplements that enhance the effects of the dry fast to have a longer lifespan and health span. That's what I expect. Anyway, uh, I'll talk to you soon. And that kind of answers the question of why I've split the doses now. Anyway, have a great day. I'll talk to you very soon.